was it last time they played? He got double eliminated by Parakeen Brandon. Yeah, no. Uh, Gabriel and Parakeen. Parakeen has gotten a really good record on uh, Gabriel. I heard that Game & Watch Rob is not a really good matchup for Rob because Game & Watch just has Bucket, which would actually like stop like a lot of like Game One or Rob's neutral, and uh, uh. B might just uh, just seal like all the shield it pressure that Rob can do. I'm not sure if Rob down to yeah, no Rob down to wouldn't even be able to like pressure Game One shield because he could just up B. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of things that could happen. Also, he'd get comboed and he couldn't land for it like ever. Exactly, I agree. Like. Uh, Game, like Game and Watch is such a, a combo heavy character, and Rob is such such combo food that he kind of just gets bodied. I'm gonna make a, a deal. If uh, if Hurricane wins the bracket, uh, all right. If Hurricane wins grand finals, I'm making Game and Watch my secondary. That's what I'm gonna do. There. Well, up there. I feel like his combo tree is pretty simple too. Like you can kind of just get Nair into Nair into Nair into Nair. A lot of Nair and a lot of up there. Yeah. Ooh, he air dodges out of it. That was really Back smart because he knew he knew it was coming. Yeah. Gabriel is he gonna be able to land against Game and Watch? The nice parry with the F tilt. Uh, Parakeen having a really solid lead against Gabriel right now. Uh huh. I think Parakeen's adaptation is like super good. Like, like how I was um like what we were uh, seeing against Blank too. Like he kind of just knew what he was gonna do. And oh, I think the up smash taking the stock. Yep. Like he always just knows. Yeah. Just if you if you know what your what your opponent's gonna go for, just throw just go for like a game watch match tech is. What, it's not really too risky. Even if you don't know what they're gonna go for. Yeah, you could like, if you could, you could like, like guess an option. And if it doesn't, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And up smash getting clanked by Game Watch Jab. Um, yeah, really needs to find uh, some momentum here because uh -huh. Pyrkin's kind of running away with it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Gabriel can't, can't, if he forces an approach, he's gonna get punished. And, uh, Hurricane is just, he's really well, I'm assuming he's really well reversed in this matchup. And, uh, Tech's it. Ooh, that's a nice tech. I thought it was gonna be an unteckable because I know that Game Watch down here has a lot of good knockback. Is it gonna be that smash? Up there. Up there. All right. There's um, but I mean, I wonder if heaviness affects, like, how much you're able to tech something. Because Rob is definitely really heavy. Yeah, it's very dependent. And also, up here, not to suck, but then forward air does. Forward air. Entire stock ahead of Gabriel. Gabriel needs to find a lot of momentum right now. Goblin's supposed to be about what? There. Alright. So, game one's in there. Up the, the gyro combo breaking for Gabriel. Nice. Very good, bro. But. Now let's see if uh, Big Body Rob can land against Game of Watch. That's one of the uh, things that Game Watch does really well in like big body matchups. He just up bears it, they're probably gonna take you and just you're not gonna be able to land forever. Uh huh. It's such a good move. And like the thing about Game of Watch is like he's one of the few characters that can actually punish uh, Rob like landing there. Like, in, even off of, like, not a parry. Like, he's parrying this a lot, which is definitely helping, but, like, he doesn't even need to parry Nair. And the down smash, the F smash, and that's the kill. Two stock. Gabriel's yeah. complaining, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> down smash, F smash is a very, very reliable, uh, really reliable. At 100%, one. you cannot mash out of that, because Game & Watch F smash is too, uh... It's, it's just, that, that, that move's really, really strong. I might take a break after this one. And I'll come back for a grand final. Dude, Paracane literally has like the complete download on Gabriel. And I feel like... Well, it's, it's only been game one. We gotta, we gotta check to see if uh, Gabriel can... Well, I don't know why he took him the FD. Because I I think that game, uh, game one would have a better time juggling Rob. Which is um, not really weird. Yeah. <laughs> try to go for... Like, 
The thing is, it's definitely an awful matchup. And also, like, Paracane has just gotten really good against fighting Gabriel. Like, and the back here taking the stock. Paracane just knows everything that, for, everything that Gabriel's gonna do. Yeah. True. I think the best play right now would be just probably, well, I don't think, uh, it's gonna be a really hard comeback because this is game watch we're talking about. Yikes. Winner's finals. Because you can't, you cannot mash any aerials on, on Game Watch right now. And that's literally everything that Rob does. Yeah. Well, I, Rob does a lot of, a lot of like zoning and like just like keeping him out. But Gabriel isn't really the, I'm gonna keep you out type person. And the down smash taking the stock. Ooh. Gabriel is down two stocks against Game Watch. This is likely impossible. I mean, it's possible. But it's not probable at all. I mean, like, he, he's up, actually... So up, up there. He's destroying him, dude. The DI mix-up. All right, so Gabriel is now just, just a little stuck. Not too bad. Until I'm surprised Gabriel hasn't just run off at this point. I mean, yeah, Gabriel could probably go for, like, a side beat right now. He wouldn't, I don't think he'd die at 10%. He could get some Z-drop Nair combos, I guess. Unless if Game Watch gets, like, a, a, a 9 hammer. He's not going to die soon. Nair, that that Nair, I think that has, that's actually probably the best move, best Nair in the game. Not the move. Best Nair in the game. Maybe. Palutena, I don't think <laughs> he's gonna go for the nine hand. Palutena's gonna bust it. Palu does have a really good Nair as well. But I think, I believe Game Watch's Nair is actually uh, slightly safer, like two frames safer than the other Nair. Palu's. He's pulling out the frame data. To make the, uh, make the comeback. So yeah, you're right. This wasn't impossible. I mean, he's still a stock down. Yeah. Yeah, down and, tilt. Uh, down tilt. Oh, that has a very, very terrible aerial hitbox. Haku has no aerial hitbox, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It's like grounded slaps with uh, DK. And F tilt taking the stock. Yikes. A double two stock. Will Gabriel go for a counter pick character or will he stay on Rob? I think the best option here would be probably find a sorting. I'm pretty sure he. I mean, he hasn't been playing Pikachu recently. I know he has an Ike. He has. He does have an Ike that he can use this, as a sorting. But oh. Pikachu, Pikachu game watch is actually really not. Uh, <laughs> that's not Pikachu favored. Yeah. Oh, so he's definitely switching because I know that. Um. I know that. Uh, Gabriel has like two different tags for two different control schemes. Yeah, and uh, I think that this is going to probably be. A sorting. Or a zero suit. Maybe. Whichever one is gonna be. But uh He's definitely not going Rob, because I would not want to go Rob in this matchup anymore. Yep, Ike. I told you. Was you predicted it! I am very good at these predictions. He's Sebas said go Mario. I don't know about that one, Chief. I feel like Ike is the better pick. Yeah, I, Mario game wants to even. I'd rather play Ike, which is like six, six to forty. Game I mean, watching. I guess if he had like a really good Mario, like it would. Hurricane still finding the open on Ike. But this is definitely like one of Game and Watch's worst matchups. Yeah, this is gonna be like really hard for Hurricane to get through. But Hurricane showing that he still knows this matchup well. He's like, you're trying to counter pick me to Ike. I'm still gonna beat you every time. Basically, is what he's trying to say right here. He's trying to make a statement. But Game Watch is also a kill percent to Nair back air right now. What's fair? But only Full Hot Nair would, would kill the six hundred. But he did steal Nair a bit, so I'm not sure. Ooh. Trying to go for an up smash to get an early stock. And the down Nair not taking the stock. Gabriel needs to play a little bit more patient to keep keep Hurricane out of his face. And that really does everything. Uh, and it also is probably safe from uh from I up think B. that should have been up there right there, because that definitely would have took him taking the stock right there. Well, I don't know if it would have uh, I don't know if it would have been true, that's the thing. Yeah, the yeah, issue. Sure. That was a good runaway. Okay, I was wrong. So Palutena's is Nair. It is it is minus nine two and minus ten on shield. But Game Watch is like it's half as laggy on shield. Whoa. So, very little moves are going to be able to punch that move. 
I mean, it's not just about how safe it is on shield, though. But how much damage, how much of combos, and I feel like Palatine is Nair. Like, Game well, & Watch's Nair does not kill. It, it did just do 58%. All right. Well, what's, what's more important? It, well, it depends on which, what's more important in certain matchups. Will the killing or safety? Obviously, like, like of course, it's kind of, like, not on matter. On it. Because, like, if you're playing against a character like, uh... Mari, I'd assume that Palutena's name would be better because either way, Mari's going to be able to up the other shield. Because it's, it's also frame three. But uh, this is looking very even. I'm surprised actually that Fairy King is actually holding, really holding his own in this really bad matchup, actually. Yeah. And the parry is definitely what you want to do against, against Ice. That was, that was a good jump side beat. Yeah. Phantom Footstool, why Why are Phantom Footstool so common? Like, I see them literally all the time. It's because everyone's just pressing a button in this game. That's, everyone likes that's, to mash. That's true, that's true. Everyone's gonna mash in this game. But like, what are the what are the conditions for a Phantom Footstool? Like, what even? Um, if you're, if the opponent is not moving, basically. Really? Well, you know, if they are moving, let's say, and, and, you, and you jump on them. Weird. They're not gonna take a Footstool. And the parry. F still gonna take the stock. Yo, Gabriel's Barricane. in the zone right now, bro. You see that? Barricade man? might 3 0 Gabriel. He's been 3 0 him for like a lot, so. Really? I assume that he just doesn't really know how to just fight Game Watch right now. Yeah, Parapane's been tearing it up recently. Like, he's gotten so much better. Ooh. Yeah. I played him in front of me at uh, Infinity Uber, and he's. I, that was like the like the first like that really, was the first really major he won in a while, yeah. right? Hey, what? Wasn't that the first major that you won in like a long time? Well, that wasn't a major. Sorry, that was the first uh, regional that he won in like a really long time. Uh, he got 13th, I believe, at that. At Infinity Uger? Yes. No, he he won. I thought that. I mean, oh, Gabe, are we talking about Gabriel or Perkin? Gabriel. Oh, Paracan. Oh. Uh, yeah, I thought I was talking about Paracan. Right oh, sorry. Yeah, so we're going to All right, and that, that episode's going to make it a 3 0. Oh. 3 0, oh, dude. All right, it's been a pleasure commentating with you. I'm going to get off for a bit. All right.